Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a super long time since I've uploaded, I know. Um, I've honestly just been really busy with a lot of things going on that I haven't really made the time to upload or edit the videos that I have recorded. But I thank you guys for still watching and subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. I really do appreciate you guys. And so I do want to answer you guys' questions. I see you. I see you there. Um, so let me get started with the questions that you all have asked. Okay, so a lot of you all have been asking about what kind of flat iron I use in my How to Straighten Natural Hair video. And I actually have three flat irons. The one I use in that video is this one. This one right here, it's Eve Electric. I think that's the name of it, yeah. I think it's Eve Electric right there. It says like Al Electric, but I'm pretty sure the E goes with it and it's Eve Electric. And I got this from uh, my local mall, one of the little flat iron stations that are sitting there like, hey, let me flat iron your hair for you or whatever. And so I think it was like $120. Um, I'm not sure where else you can purchase them from, but that is the one that I used in that video. And I have another one. Oh, well, this one is ceramic, by the way. Um, it goes up to 460 degrees. I think in my video I mentioned I put it around 430 or something like that. I'm not really sure. Another one I have is the Nano Titanium Baby Bliss Pro, which is this one right here. Um, I've had this one probably four years. Yeah, probably like four years. This one is titanium. It has the little metal plates on them. Um, it's still in pretty good shape. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of residue as far as the plates coming off or scratching or anything like that. Um, this one goes up to 425, I believe. And I use either one, honestly. It kind of depends on how I feel. The ceramic one, it has like... It's, it's interesting because this one, it gets your hair, it gets my hair straighter, but it doesn't get it straighter. Like, they both get my hair straight, but the ceramic one has, I guess, a softer finish, and this one doesn't have as soft a finish. Like, my hair is still soft, but it's just different. So, honestly, I use both of them. I don't use this one to curl. Like, if I want to add curls or anything like that, I don't use this one because I feel like it's more damaging. Um... Even though I know the temperature, the temperature can be lower, I just feel like the ceramic one is better to curl than the titanium one. And the third one that I have is the FHI Heat Technique G2. And this one was like my first really good flat iron. Probably, I think I got it, I don't know, a while ago. I got this one when I was still relaxed. So that had to have been like, um, four, five, six, seven, seven, no, I don't know, something, I don't know, but at this one, and it was really good when my hair was relaxed, like, honestly, it was, it was really good flat iron, the first time I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, my hair is just amazing, um, but natural, I haven't actually used it to flat iron my hair since I've been completely natural since I transitioned back. But I do use it to like, again, bump my hair, or curl it, add some curls or something to it. I'll use it for that. So it's okay, I wouldn't recommend this for just to use if your hair is natural. If you want like a super straight hair, cause I feel like it doesn't get that hot. And it only has an off and on switch. It doesn't have like the temperature. And I really don't know what temperature it even goes to actually. That's the third one I have. Another question you all have been asking is the kind of blow dryer I use. And this is a blow dryer. It's a Revlon, Revlon Ceramic Tourmaline Ionic 1875 watts. Um, I got it from Target. I want to say it was no more than $40. I think, I want to say it was maybe like $29.99, but I don't remember. There's nothing special about it, to be honest. It comes with, um this attachment and it comes with the diffuser and I think those are the only two attachments it comes with. I don't, it doesn't come with the comb. I don't believe it comes with the comb. 
Um, but honestly, I don't think there's anything special about blow dryers at all. It has different settings, low, high, off, and then you can do cool, warm, and hot, and it also has a little cool shot button um, right there. Um, so that's the blow dryers. Several of you guys have asked me what my hair type was. I honestly have no idea because I don't really pay attention to that. I don't think anyone should get super hung up on what your hair type is or what someone else's hair type is. So I really can't tell you. Um, it's I have different textures. The back of my hair is probably, it's a lot tighter than the front. Um, the top of my hair has looser curls. Some of it is heat damaged, but... Um, overall, like aside from that part, the top of my hair does have a looser curl pattern. So I'm not going to give you any like 4A, 3B, any of that stuff because I don't know and I don't think and I don't want to tell you wrong. Um, so that's my answer to that. Where do I get the Regis Olive Oil Conditioner from? I got that from the actual Regis Salon here in a mall. I think you can buy it at Walmart because Walmart has those little salon. They do sell the conditioner. I don't have it with me in this video, but that's where you can get it from. I'm not sure where else you can get that from. Is this my natural hair color? Yes. I have not dyed my hair. My hair is black. Well, I mean, no one's hair. I think it's black, black, but it's black. I actually have, um, what are these called? Clip-ins in my hair now. So I kind of just put them in there because I haven't washed my hair in two weeks and I'm trying to hold off washing as long as I can. So these just give me a little life for right now until I can do something about that. And I've had these since 2013 and it's 2017. So that's like four years and they've honestly just been hanging up in the back of a closet. But I mean, they look fine to me and they're still soft and yeah, so I'm going to use them. Someone asked, how do I take care of my hair? Like, as far as how do I get to grow? And I really don't do anything special to it aside from just washing it and conditioning it every two weeks or um, ever. However often I decide to wash my hair, which is typically every two weeks. I deep condition when I wash my hair. I'm not going to say to avoid heat if you want your hair to grow. Yes, I do think that's a great tip, but I love heat and I typically wear my hair straight so I'm not gonna tell you guys to do something that I don't do um, so really I just wash it and style it and I would say if anything I would say don't do your hair every single week if you're gonna flat iron it like don't wash it and flat iron it one week then wash it and flat iron it next week if you're gonna flat iron it I would say leave it straight as long as possible and then, like, if it gets old throughout the week, you can always add flexi rods and things to it to give it some life, to change your style, because that's what I do. Like, once I flat iron it and say after that first week, I can tell it doesn't have the same movement or flow or soup. It doesn't look as fresh, and so that's when I add, like, a flexi rods to it so that it does, it looks like it's been styled and it's not just old and blah. Hair grows, like, you just have to be careful about it. Um, just be careful about what you're doing to your hair. I also do drink water. Like, that's the only thing that I drink. And I know water is really good for your skin, your body, period, and your hair. So, I would definitely recommend, like, just eating healthy and drinking a lot of water. Um, I don't even drink soft drinks or anything at all. Um, so I'm pretty sure that my hair benefits from that. And I sleep with scarves on, yes, and I have satin pillowcases. I don't, I never go to sleep without my hair tied up. Um, even if I'm taking a nap, I gotta, I'll put something on my head. Yeah, so that's how I pretty much take care of it. I actually do have a couple new products that I've been using as far as the shampoos that I use. Right now, I really, 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 really like the Aussie shampoo and conditioner. I know they're like a huge old, they're like a huge old thing. Like they're nothing special, nothing new. But the Aussie Total Miracle 7-in-1 shampoo it's really good like the first time I used it my hair is so soft like even before I used the conditioner which is just
and honestly go to sleep you just go to sleep and um <laughs> there isn't really a comfortable way but I tie a scarf loosely around them just so they're kind of not flopping everywhere in case they fall out so I tie a scarf and then put my bonnet on and then I go to sleep um, you kind of have to play around with your position on your pillow because they will like stick you in the neck or something but you just go to sleep in them and those curls in that video you will have to roll them up every day um, you don't have to but if you don't then they're gonna get like really puffy and they're not gonna be very uniform at all so that's the only time I actually did my hair in that style have I ever flat ironed my hair and it come out looking thin and stiff the answer is no and if your hair comes out looking thin and stiff then that means either one your hair is damaged two the products you use are not working or three your flat iron is kind of crappy you may want to do some deep conditioning you may want to use less products if you're using like hairspray or spritz to flat iron your hair that's a definite no-no you use maybe wrong or use too many of one product or you didn't use the right products or your flat iron is old or just not a good flat iron like having a good flat iron is really a huge deal like I don't think people understand that you're gonna have to spend you may can get by on a cheap flat iron for a little while or if you're relaxed but when you're natural and you want to make sure your hair is in really good health like having a good flat iron really does matter and it really it really will change the way your hair comes out when you use it and if there's any other videos that you all specifically would like to see let me know again I don't know how often I will be uploading as far as once a month or every two weeks or every other month I don't know um, but I did want to come and update you guys on a couple of things and answer some of you guys' questions. If you have any more questions that you would like me to do another Q&A session, um, leave them below and I will try my best to answer them. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe and share and I will see y'all in my next video.